What's up everyone, it's me the gamer 119 here with the next quest to do, the Hymns of Fire quest. We're about to go out there. Okay, so for the Hymns of, Quar uh, Hymns of Fire quest, pretty much you have to do the Void one first. And then you get it from, you know, Savala. I kind of already showed how to do it inside the uh, Songs of the Void quest. But anyway, after you do that, it's the same thing, same process. You have to uh, use solar abilities to actually get the next part of the quest to get to, to, get to the part that we're up to. So, let's go. The Shield Brothers is some, the main part of this thing. For some reason, I want to go against Tanix. The new one or the old one? Either one. I don't oh. know why. That's weird. We went over. We went against him on Tuesday. I know. Interesting. Doesn't he have three forms? There's a taken text. Yeah, there's a taken text for the uh, black spindle. Uh huh. Great. So three tenics. That'd be interesting if you fought all three of them. Funny story for you. Remember that Centurion Oryx took right after you landed on the dreadnought? Then the Centurion and the Taken Ogre tried to stop you from killing the king. <laughs> Didn't work. So the Centurion's Bond brothers are pretty angry they lost their commander. They're leading a team to blow the Dreadnought's core. Core goes, most of the system goes with it. You're gonna make sure that doesn't happen. So, technically speaking, we're saving the Dreadnought. Uh, unfortunately. <sighs> but we don't want the entire system to be destroyed, so... Indeed, indeed. I probably use the treasure key here. I can only use it for like hunter or weapons. I kinda want that Titan to Why do you think they crashed their ship into the dreadnought? Then you can Yeah, you know, Duck still needs to get that. Yep. And he should have gotten some treasure keys, which means he could do this quest and get it. Exactly. It would be funny though if he did the strike twice and opened that chest twice and never got it. But <laughs> wouldn't you get it immediately? Hilarious. I don't know, sometimes it will give you that or one of the other things that are available for the quest. What are the other things? Or all of them. I don't know. I don't know if there's any other things for this strike or whatever yeah um because i know that some of the other strikes have more than one item available interesting very interesting but it would be kind of funny though if it came, came. or it didn't give him at all so that'd be hilarious i can see doug just going Die, all of you. No, he was early. What? They didn't invite him. What are you talking about? Well, first, well, when I said earlier, I mean like, like really earlier. <laughs> and then he left to go party. Party? Why is he gonna go party? Because he's a party boy. He naturally just goes. Didn't party we to party. say something to him about party? I don't think so. And second of all, my notifications from when my friends get on, it's off. Yeah, so I never see my friends get on there. I only get party notifications and achievement notifications. What? Oh! I blew up. Yeah, you did. I actually now, I really want the Ark update to come out today. It might come out tonight, actually. Why are you excited for the Ark update? Because I want to see what the achievements are for the game. All oh, right, they're bringing achievements into the game now. Don't but, you feel like see, you can now probably since, get most of the achievements? Oh yeah, definitely. But now since Ark is actually bringing achievements, I kind of just want to uh, start all over. I what feel like I feel like to get the achievements, I feel like to play on an um, official dedicated server now. It would be fair if that happened. Well, no, I think there's gonna be official, and then there, like there's certain 
achievements that you will have to get on official, but then there's some that you can get on the player dedicated. I don't think that's Because it only makes it fair. No, it doesn't. Because, I mean, if you think about it, Minecraft has a creative mode and a survival mode. The creative mode is the only... No, the survival mode is the only place to actually get achievements on. You can't get on creative. So it would be fair. Oh, snap. No, but, like... There's certain things like, oh, you gotta do this or that or that or this. But, you know, that could take you, like, a weeks to get a Well, that's the point. That's why they're called achievements. But then, it could only take you maybe a few days to get accomplished. That, I, I know, that's yeah. the same thing for Minecraft, which is why they only did it for survival, not creative. So it wouldn't make... Uh, like, I don't want to spend... Sense. I don't want to... I don't want to spend, like, two hours taming a single dino, though. That's I mean, it depends on the. It also depends on what dino, what dino it is, and what level it is for it to actually be. Um, well, yeah, I know that. that but honestly, I I think they need to tweak their taming stuff because it's just incredibly too long. I mean, some people. Well, have another reason why it takes too long is because um, what you call it? Uh, trying to get all the materials and stuff like that takes a very long time. But I mean, that's how survival games supposed to be played, though. That's the thing. Getting, but no, getting material together is not that hard, actually. Oh yeah, it is. I mean, like you come up, like you, like from one bush, you probably get like two berries, and like three fiber. No, I'm talking. Uh, I'm talking about um, like building and materials in general. It's not that hard to get a um, the, the stuff together, and especially once you get the first Taking dino, the the then bridge. it goes really quick. Whoever the brothers are. They the only problem is it's just the taint. It's in my opinion, the taming takes way too long. Even if you, let's say you have all the materials together, it just takes too long to tame one dino, and it's just kind of stupid. They should cut that time off by at least twenty percent. Hmm. Like, let's say it takes you an hour just to tame. Oh wait, no, no, I'm thinking 30 minutes. Let's say it takes you 30 minutes to tame a raptor. I don't want to spend 30 minutes taming a single raptor. And let's say it's only level 25 on an official server. That's, uh, that's too long. Well, I mean, you're just one of a whole bunch of people. I mean, a lot more people just, play, play um, not play dedicated, but official servers. Rather than play dedicated. I'm just saying, for like, wildcard, it would make so much more sense if they actually made the achievements for only official dedicated servers. Because even with player dedicated servers... I think there's like... You can still make your own um, server, which is still technically speaking, I'll play a dedicated server and play on that server. And just get all the stuff by using the uh, command things. I think would leave the core intact. That's why I said it can oh, make well, perfect no. sense. It's covered in bombs. I mean, I'm pretty sure like a game can tell between a command. I mean, like how you program it, it can tell if it's command done or not. I know, but yeah, that means play dedicated servers will actually have to take the command things off. Which I'm not sure if you can actually take it off or not. Oh no no! Like the command keys has only been run if you have a person who's set as admin controls. If they have admin controls, then they can use commands. Yeah. No. But I think what's the word? I'm trying to think of the word, and mine's going blank. Ugh. Ooh. So most of the time when you play on a player dedicated, you know, not, they really, they all the, the people who set up the service, they just let people go and do whatever. They, it, they just up, they just up the, um, taming and resource gathering just by either a little or a lot, depending on what the, pe the personal preference is, that person, um, whoever sets up the server. I mean, like the server that we've been playing on, mm. it's... It's now only slightly elevated. The XP gain is actually a bit. Oh, that's higher. another thing. Yeah, exactly. Player dedicated, player dedicated servers can also um, edit the XP stuff but, and everything. So, like, if like one of the yeah, achievements has reached level 50, you can do that on player dedicated or unofficial dedicated. It's just that because of the player dedicated thing, it's gonna be a lot easier to do. Uh, I, oh, think, thing, I think. I think though, like the achievements that could be like fine for both player and official for both mm -hmm. would be like tame a certain amount of dinos like okay tame 20 dinos I mean you can easily tame 20 different dinos 
I know, or 20 but different things think about on it. either server. That, that's that's super easy. And I know, but if you think about easy. it, with the pl no, but the player dedicated the player dedicated server can also boost up taming rates. It would be a lot easier to tame all those. Yeah, but no. Yeah, but, no. yeah, but this, you so. can do the same thing on an official server by just going and knocking out a dodo and tame that. And that only takes you about three. Well, then minutes. that's well, unless it says okay, 20 five. different types of um, dinos, then that you can't do the same thing with the dodo. Ah, how did he get me? What? Is he actually getting me? Oh my god, he has! Oh, what the hell? Okay. There we go. That's good. I'm safe. Look, honestly, for in my opinion, though, the the main the the the, the main type of achievements that I would see not on player dedicated. Fighting the boss. It's like the ones that I know that has yeah, to be boss ones like yeah, that kill the bosses and stuff like that. That that has to be official. Anyone can just go in and spawn it and then gather go up whole rooms like we did. Well, not no, not spawn again. Like, let's say just you know have a player dead. Be on that one of those servers I mean, it, it, because they can be boosted. You can get all the resources and have almost unlimited resources on there. You're playing technically fair based on the server settings, but you're also taking a bit. Get it? Maybe. Also trying to not die. Okay, look. <laughs> I I can see that. Alright, but you know, like, I can see some I'm trying to think of something. Like, I can see some of the basic things, like some basic achievements I can go for the code, which is just fine, like okay, craft your first item. Look, you can do that on either order, it doesn't matter. Like craft a craft one item. <gasps> there. Stupid okay, I was way too like... close to that freaking Valus. Can someone revive me? Oh crud, I... Uh, I'm gonna die. Or kill the boss instead. Uh, oh, nice. Nope, I revived. I'm running around in circles trying to avoid those shots. But yeah, there's like, you know, stupid, simple achievements. Like, oh, gather well, we'll see how the achievements are. Let's say, just building them. I think they're going to be split up into three categories. One, you can earn from official. I think you're going to have some that are player dedicated and then some that are going to be both. You can earn them on both. In my opinion. And the player dedicated ones you can earn on official, which could be both as well, but you can easily just earn them on that. Like, I can see one like, okay, form a tribe and have at least five people join the tribe. Okay. Oh. There you go. That, maybe that would be one. Cool, dead. I would make that like an uh, official. Right. Survive 24 hours in the game world. So one whole day without dying. Or it's something like done. that. You know. Yeah, I don't want it. Or a week long. Let's say a week. Seven days in game. Without dying. Look at their there you actions, go. Not their words. Chess is over here. I know, I just said it online. Butchers. No, you should you have it. The Empire with the Vanguard's all about. Fine. Nice work. Never mind, you don't have to have it. Okay, cool. No, you could have rubbed it in Duck's face. Nah. Would you have rubbed it in Duck's face? If you got it when he couldn't get it before they had the skeleton keys and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember when me and Tweaky did this um, strike and we both got it. We were playing as hunters and he was playing as a titan and he didn't get it. Yeah, I heard about that. It was hilarious. Alright, and we pretty much relaxed. once you do that strike, you can, you know, go to the tower and retrieve your solar thunderlord. I forgot you were recording. So, the whole time we were talking about another game. I mean, it's important to talk about other things. Um, of course, yeah, it's more important uh, to talk about the game that you're playing, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, but we're doing a strike, so we would have talked about that during a strike anyway. Or any other subject anyway. Exactly. Uh, just goes to show that we're fans of other games. Yep. It's a great way to show... That we're not just, you know, Destiny heads. We're, we're di diverse in our gaming community. Yes, I am not gonna. 
Yes, I will only play Destiny. <laughs> I, haven't played, I haven't uploaded Destiny videos in a while, so I'm happy to have some Destiny content, especially after I beat the Gears of War 4 campaign. So, we gotta have other content to upload. And I'll be starting the Titanfall 2 campaign next week. Titanfall 2. Will you win or will you lose? Message for sir. Will you win or will you lose? Wait for me to hear. Her. Apparently my hunter's being really slow today. And I have antennas that make me kinda look like Ultron in the back of the head. There's so much more to Hurry up. Me and Zavala are waiting. Uh, go. Doop. Titans tell stories about the And the Abaddon. We remember its song. And when we carried it Doop. That is how you get the Abaddon. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. The Nova Mortis and the Abaddon. Let's look at the Nova Mortis real quick. Void damage, obviously. Actually, let me just hold on. Let me get the download. I really don't know if it's actually in my vault. There we go. I got all three guns now lined up in a perfect row in my inventory. They're beautiful. I think the load is in my vault. Wait a minute. There, I switched around. That's right. Very important. Nova Mortis and Abaddon. Haha, <laughs> Sin's got the name wrong. There Probably it is. Gone. Yeah, it is. Why, do you, why did he think he was going to be called the, what, Ozai? Yeah, the Ozai. Not sure why. Anyway, this is the Thunder Lord, obviously, the Ark. Look at this baby. I'm going to zoom in you. Look at that. Beautiful. It has feeding frenzy. Kills kills with this weapon. Increased reload speed for a short time. And the last one is lightning rounds. This weapon fires faster and more accurate the longer the trigger is held. So wonderful and all the other stuff that doesn't matter. But after the Thun Lord is the Nova Mortis. The void version of it. Look at that baby. Wonderful. And it has feeding frenzy. You know, reload speed, and then obviously negative rounds. This uh, weapon fires faster and more accurate. Wow, it's just the same thing. Hey, was this robot always right here? And then Ab Abaddon. Oh, hold on. Abaddon. Feeding frenzy, and of course, inc uh, incendiary rounds. Same, same friggin' thing. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. That's all three machine guns. Woohoo. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will... Actually, I don't think that robot was all there that whole bunch of time. He just started sweeping the snow. He has a lot of like work to do. They, they, they switch his... I say they switch him around, like, every week. And he's always in a different spot. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you guys later. Goodbye!